Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, we will be using another library to do testing. And this is just another option. If you want testing, you can either use catch2 as we are doing here or use Google test like we showed in the previous video. Again, we will start by pulling in the third party dependency. That's going to be catch2. I actually think before you even try to use the library, you should visit it on GitHub and see what it does. It is a modern C++ native test framework for using unit tests. It does a lot of things and you can really read about that. I think even if you go down, they will give you a link to know why you need a testing framework. And they really give a good number of points that you should know if you are just getting started with this topic here. Reading the documentation, we will be brought to, how do we get here? Okay, let's try to find the documentation together. So let's go down and see how we can use this. They give a link to a tutorial, so this is a good place to go. If we go to the tutorial, you see they have a link about CMAC integration, you can read that. And if they talk about CMAC target, they talk about include the fetch content, they talk about using fetch content like we are doing here, fetch content declare, fetch content make available. You see, this is what we are used to do now. And they give us the name of the target we should link to. This is vital information, remember this. And further down, they say that when using fetch content, include catch will fail. So for this to work, we need to update CMake module path to contain a location to the custom CMEC modules that are brought in by the catch2 library. And we do this by appending this to our CMEC module path. This is what we are doing in our code here. So include fetch content, fetch content declare, fetch content make available. And we are appending to our CMEC module path as instructed by the documentation of the library that we are trying to use here. This is where I got the information. Once you have the dependency pulled in, you need to link against that. It is really going to be exactly the same thing we did with Google test. We will include the module that brings in our third party dependency, which is our catch2 library and the code to do that lives in this custom module here. Once we have the third party dependency, we will set up an executable, which is going to be made up of our testing code in this test calc CPP file. We will link against the catch library we will also link against the calculator target that contains the code that we want to test. I think this is something I didn't specify explicitly in the last video, but this is my chance to save myself here. We are including C test, C catch, and we are discovering the tests as instructed by the documentation. Again, if you go there, you see that it is the same thing we are doing here. You have to read your documentation to be able to use your third party library. Once we have this, we can hop over into our root cmakelists.txt file. We will enable testing and we will bring in our test subdirectory, which is going to bring in the code that we are interested in to enable testing for our project here. Let's hop over to Visual Studio Code and look at this in action. Let's look at the world folder. It contains things. So we can reveal in Explorer, go in the folder, delete everything, okay, and close this off. Now we have a clean slate off of which to start. You can look at what we have in the source code. It is exactly the same thing we had in the last lecture with Google test. We have a CMake list.txt file, which is going to set up a calculator target, okay? This target is going to be what we link against in our testing code. We go in our test folder, we have a test calc file. Okay, before we look at that, let's look at how we bring in the library. So we have our target, set up here unit tests and we are linking to this target and what we want to link against is the calculator target and the cart target and we know this name from the documentation i really want you to see this this is a main pain point for many people beginning with cmake and testing and these kinds of things here once we have this we do as instructed by the documentation to include c test include catch and uh, make our tests visible to the C test module that is built into CMake. I think this is really all. We have the main CPP file, which is going to use the calculator as we had earlier. And by the way, if you are finding this video useful, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support me. 
That's going to tell the YouTube algorithm that these videos are good and I am really working on them to be good. So if you find them good, please let me know. Let's try to configure the project and see if we can build our project with testing through catch to integrate it. We can do that. So CMake S and uh, the source folder is going to be the current folder. The build folder is going to be the build directory. Let's configure. It is going to be stuck a minute downloading our catch to library and it is going to configure it for use. If we go in the build directory, we have a depths folder. If we go in, you see that we have a few things related to catch too. Okay, now we have the build files written to our build folder. We can see make build build to build. We can do that. This is going to build our executable and tests. Let's wait for this to happen. Okay, the build is successful. You can see our unit test target here, which is built. You can see our rooster target, which is built. So we can cd into build and do debug. I think we can do that and do rooster. This is going to run our binary. We can do debug. No, we can do test. Debug unit test to run the tests manually. But in the build folder, you can also do C test. Okay. And it is going to run your tests. Again, if we go in our source folder, for example, and mess up the add function by adding 6, 6 and try to build again, we can do that. See, make build, build, or the current directory. That's where we are at. And run C test again. It is going to say that one test failed because the add function, the multiplication function, it is what we messed up. It is not working correctly because it is not multiplying A and B. It is multiplying A with another number, but no problem. We can fix it and build again. This is the workflow you go through to build things. Let's build again and run C test and everything is going to go fine. Please use testing in your project. Doesn't really matter what your library you use. You can use Google test. You can use cache too. Just make sure you are testing your code because that's what all the cool kids are doing. And it is not just because it is popular. It is really useful to test your code. Other people working on your projects are going to know when they break things. And that's going to save a lot of time. Another good side about testing is that you can integrate this with your CI pipeline. If you don't know what a CI pipeline, please don't worry. That's something people do to make things integrate well with other things. Maybe we are going to talk about that in another video, but in this video, I am talking about testing using CMake for your C++ project. This is really all I had to share in this video. If you found it useful, please let me know in the comments below. I am going to stop here and I will see you next time.